Hey folks, so this morning we are taking on another project. Um, we posted the video about the garden and we had several people asking about the fence that we built out of pallets. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how I built the fence out of pallets. So follow along. I have access to these really high quality uh, pallets at work. Um, they go through tons of them and uh, so we're able to get them for free. As you can see, they're actually really high quality uh, pallets, nice three quarter boards and full two by fours in there and they're solid. Um, so it's gonna make a really good fence and it's actually really easy to build that way. So basically what I do is just stack them together, screw the two by fours together. Um, if you're going in long spans, you will have to drive something into the ground. Uh, for the garden fence, I actually just used T posts and drove them into the ground every 10 or 12 feet. And um, the corners give it a lot of stability. So follow along as we build the rest of our extended chicken run. The way I'm doing it is pretty simple. Um, I'm just using three inch coated deck screws. They're made for exterior grade. Um, basically just screw the two by fours together that are already in the pallets. One thing I like about these screws is, so you can see this one, you can kind of see it. This one I used in a previous project and it's been sitting outside all winter long. Um, it's still great condition, very usable. So if you're like us, you, uh, <laughs> Take on one project and then change your mind a little while later. So it's nice to be able to back those screws out and reuse them for another project because uh, they definitely don't give those things away for free. So it's super simple screwing these things together, being that they're nice high quality pallets. Just line everything up, make sure it's flush, and frickin' send it. The other thing to make sure you do is, in order to give it some strength, I put one in the top this way, and then one in the bottom this way. Adds a little bit of strength. Oh, I should clarify, I am using three screws in each seam. So one at the top, one at the bottom, and then one in the middle. And I just kind of alternate which direction they're going. All right, so I will try to get a good view of this. Just kind of show you the corner. Um, on the top here, I put a screw at an angle like this, making sure that it bites into this two by four. Make sure this edge is nice and flush, looks good. And as you can see, it's really sturdy. These pallets are actually quite heavy as well. They're really heavy duty pallets. So that all adds stability to the fence. We are adding a gate to this. I went to the hardware store yesterday to get screws. Of course, I forgot to get hinges and latches. So that'll have to wait. This pallet right here will be a gate so we can still get into the chicken run. But I just kind of put this in temporarily. What I'm gonna do here in this corner, I already attached it to the, to the side of the chicken coop, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to unscrew it. I'm gonna drive a two by four down into the ground right here to kind of hold this corner up and give it some added strength for uh, you know the wear and tear for the gate. The one thing you wanna pay attention to is the height here, hold the gate up just a little bit higher than the stationary panel. Because like we're learning on the uh, gate for our garden is that it kind of sinks into the ground a little bit and makes it a little hard to open the gate, which I kind of knew was gonna happen. But uh, just for time's sake, I didn't do anything to combat that, um, which I'm wishing I would have now. <laughs> Hey ho, neighbor. <laughs> so the other nice thing about these particular pallets, um, we were kind of planning on running them the other way so the slats were up and down, kind of make it look like a picket fence. But if you're gonna do that, you have to fill in these voids here with two by fours. Um, so that would have been a really big expense to complete this entire entire fence. Um, so that's up to you if that's something you wanna do. We, uh, we wanted to, but at the moment, it's just not really feasible time-wise and cost, so. Uh, we're going to run it this way. The 2 by 4s are already in the end. Makes it super easy to just screw them together and go.
All right, so the main reason we're doing this fence is we have a dog that is bred to be a bird hunting dog. <laughs> She's a German short here and she is a hunter through and through and she has already killed two of our chickens. So we are, we did put an in-ground fence in, but uh, the chickens wander over the line and she patiently waits and hunts them down. Isn't that right, Malachi? Yeah, and kills them. Yep. Uh, also, since I put the food plots in, uh, in the back section of the property, we have had all kinds of trail cam pictures of fox and coyotes, so... And leos. Oh, and, and lots of deer, yeah. And once, there, and once the neighbor dog scared yeah, away. Yeah, once the neighbor dog scared one of the deer away. Yeah. yeah. So the, the main reason we're doing it is to keep the dog away from them during the day and to keep the bigger predators out during the day when they're out here. Um, we will be adding hardware cloth to our, our run here uh, to keep everything out. This is just kind of a, a preventative measure. Um, obviously, they'll still be able to dig underneath the fence, but hopefully that'll give us a, some extra time to get out here with the gun and take care of the issue. As you can see, we're aware that these pecker heads are gonna be able to jump over this. So we will be adding netting over the top of it, one thing at a time. Gun safety rule number four, never point your gun at anything you were not willing to destroy. So I'm kind of limited on how many pallets I can take at a time from work. Um, it just depends on how many are available and you know obviously I don't want to be that jerk that just takes all of them because you know everybody that I work with does projects like this so I try not to uh, try not to overdo it. So we are a little bit short on the end down here. Um, so the last pallet that I have here I'm just gonna we wanted to go a little bit farther out that way but just for strength purposes right now I'm gonna turn this pallet the opposite way and kind of make a corner there um, just so the fence isn't going to fall down until I can get more pallets. Um, so if you guys have any more questions about how I built this, uh, this fence or, or anything like that, go ahead and drop us a comment. Otherwise, if you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give you the kind of walkthrough here. Run chicken! See, they got all this nice grass and leaves and weeds to pick, pick through. We'll leave that up just as a reminder. Step out of line. <laughs> so, this should work really well for them. We can uh, just come through the gate here, open up the chicken run, let them come out, and get all this area. Um, like I said, obviously, it's not going to keep every single predator out. You know, we can see gaps underneath the fence right now, um, but it will keep the dog out. It'll keep the bigger predators out. Um, like I said, hopefully just buy us that extra time. 
So there you go. There is our chicken fence, extended chicken run fence, thingamabobber, doodad, <laughs> what you call it. And 